Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another accessories review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but it will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the review. And the accessories I'm looking at in this video is the brand new weapons pack from Non-F Productions for the Seeker Elite 2 pack of Dirge and Ramjet. And as you can see, these arrive in a baggie with Non-F Productions decal there on the front with how to get a hold of them and their website. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. Looks like we've got a lot of parts. You've got pieces here on sprues, or a sprue. Actually, I was correct, sprues. So you got two sprues of pieces and what looks to be a lot of weapon halves. So I do believe there is some assembly required for this set. So now, without further ado, let me get this all put together and take a look at these brand new weapon sets for this awesome Seeker 2-pack. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get all your pieces separated and put together, you'll see that you have two nice updated Generation 1 weapon sets for Dirge and Ramjet. Now, these came together very well. There was no issues whatsoever putting these things together. Everything was a nice, tight fit. I did have a few areas, such as right here, where I had to take my X-Acto knife and trim down the flashing a little bit. But other than that, these things are great looking. They're nice and smooth and really, really neat. And another extra feature that Non-F added is the peg is on a hinge, a very tight hinge, but you can have posability now with these weapons. And as I said, these are nice updates to the Generation 1 weapons. We've got Dirge's weapon right here compared to his Generation 1 weapon. Now we'll take a look at Thrust. Same thing with uh, Thrust. Ramjet, we'll take a look at Ramjet's weapon. Same thing, very well put together, nice and smooth, and has the hinged, man, that one's really tight, has the hinged peg. And this one is also a nice update to his massive Generation 1 weapon. So now let's go ahead and get these weapons attached to the robots and see how they look. Let's go ahead and do Ramjet first, remove his stock weaponry and add the new non-F weapons. So there is Ramjet, same for Dirge. Get those off. These are pegging in really nice and tight, which is always a plus. I hate loose fitting weapons. And there you go. There is Earthrise, Dirge, and Ramjet with the new non-F weaponry. And I think that looks so cool. Let's test out the hinged weapon. So yeah, it can go up and down. That's pretty cool. But yeah, these are great looking weapons. I mean, it really adds more of a G1 feel to these Earthrise figures. So let's go ahead and compare Earthrise Dirge with Generation 1 Dirge, and as you can see, a really nice update. I love the looks of that. And now let's take a look at Ramjet with his G1 counterpart. Once again, a fantastic update to the Generation 1 weaponry. I always liked Ramjet's big weapons that he had on his arms. That looks too cool. These new non-F weapons are also Blast Effect compatible. So you can add Blast Effects here to Dirge and Ramjet. So there you go, you have them firing away at some Autobots. Now let's take a look at the weapon set on Dirge and Ramjet in Jet Mode. 
These new conehead weapons from Non-F Productions look just as good in jet mode as they did in robot mode. And what's really cool in jet mode, you can really utilize the hinge on the weapon. You've got Dirge flying overhead. He can angle his weapon down and just lay waste to some Autobots below. So that is really, really cool. So if you display your figures in jet mode, that's a really cool option to have. Also, not only are the weapons blast effect compatible here on the front, but there is a port on the back. So you can actually add back blast to these launchers with a blast effect here on front. And now it looks like Ramjet is launching a missile. I love that. I love the playability with those blast effects. And I think Non-F really knocked it out of the park with this weapon set. So there you go. There's what they look like in jet mode. I can't recommend this non-F conehead weapon set enough. These are great looking weapons. That is a fantastic love letter to us Generation 1 fans, giving these modern figures a more G1 look. I was always a fan of the cone heads, and one thing that really set them off, other than their cone head, was their different weapons from the other Seekers. And now, thanks to Non-F Productions, these guys also can differ from their Earthrise counterparts thanks to some awesome new weaponry. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And don't forget to check out Non-F Productions. I'll have a link to their website and this weapon set in the description below. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!